Hey guys, what's up? By Sekta Trent here from One Hype Gazette, here with the next War Recap video, and uh, we're looking at one against SHZBG. Uh, it wasn't the closest war, but we'll go through the bases. And while we do, I just want to say uh, I really appreciate all you guys, uh, you know, checking out and giving your your uh, input on the last video. It's it's cool to see uh, when you know everyone in the community can kind of comment on a certain subject without it being too. Uh, he did or you know uh, personal it was just nice to see everyone kind of you know taking their own perspective on it because um, I think that's what really makes the war community cool is having you know the ability to do that so um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that series but it was definitely an interesting video to make and I appreciate you guys all checking it out so anyway um, taking a look at this war we're going to go ahead and look at a few uh, higher level attacks than some town hall nines there were some really awesome Town Hall 9 attacks that I can't wait to show, but first I want to show a few of the ones, uh, starting with this one on the 11, and this is a Town Hall 9, and you know I want to keep showing these because I want to reinforce the idea that this is so important, and uh, if, if you can you know learn a few things from these attacks, if you're a Town Hall 9, uh, if you can do this for your clan, it's so important, uh, and it's so helpful because, and, you know, for 95% of clans, you're not going to see them three-starring the Town Hall 11s. I mean, even in Genesis, we don't tend to three-star many Town Hall 11s, especially in close wars. So uh, if you can get these things two-starred by Town Hall 9s, that really opens a lot of things up, especially if um, if it often comes down to percentage or stuff. Uh, or I mean, I should rephrase not if it comes down to percentage. If it comes down to percentage, then sometimes you need more than like 50 or 60%, which is what the nines can get. But when, if you, you know, striving just to get more stars, this is a great way to do it. If you don't think it's gonna be, you know, a extremely close war, uh, it, it's a good idea to do because um, a two star is a two star, the percentage only matters if you tie. So I guess that's, I kind of screwed that up at the beginning. If, my point is if, it's a war that doesn't look like it, it can uh, gonna be decided by percentage, then this is a good idea to try to get ahead in stars and just win by virtue of stars. So anyway, uh, had to clear that up. But, but anyway, uh, Richie going in here uh, has the jump spell to let the Valks and the King make their way on in. He actually brought quite a few heal spells, not very many rages. So I was a little worried that those level four infernos might eat him up. Uh, but he gets through them pretty quickly, actually. The king's on the town hall. He's already at 40%. Has some baby dragons making their way in. And uh, right here, things are going down pretty fast to all those Teslas. But the queen's going to shoot down uh, the town hall. And uh, from there, the eagle's already down. So it can't really hurt any of those troops making their way around the outside. Uh, the queen will get another building or two before she goes down. And then... Um, and then the baby dragons will get a little bit more percentage, get the uh, two star secured. I've always kind of been on the fence about baby dragons as far as how effective they are, but I'm starting to, uh, I'm starting to like them a little more recently. I've seen them uh, be helpful in a number of different types of attacks. So uh, I think I think they are a useful troop. They're not what you know miners or bowlers or have become, but they're definitely uh, important troop up there at a number of different town hall levels. So anyway, nice attack to Richie. Um, the next one, we're going to go on to 13, because a few of these were dip attacks by our 11s. But we can see a few Town Hall, uh, Town Hall 10 versus uh, Town Hall 10 attacks. And this was a really nice one by by Lenny. Um, we're going to look at a number of mass minor attacks, because uh, they tend to be uh, a fun one that a lot of people haven't seen yet, is Town Hall 10s using minors. Uh, but it's become a lot more popular, and I've you know had some fun experimenting with it. But this was really interesting because the setup was so smooth right here. Drops down that jump, so only that one compartment is opened. And then just look what he does here with the Valks. As soon as these baby dragons create the funnel, um, starts dropping in these Valks, and just basically rushes that first Inferno right there. And a little bit risky, but the Rage and the, those like six Valks get in there, they're going to take out um, the CC troops, or at least the ground CC troops that are in there, the Queen and the Inferno, all boom, right like that, everything's down. I, w I wouldn't have trusted six Valks, to be honest, but uh, he had faith in them, and they got the job done. Obviously, they, they didn't take out the air troops, but the Queen can get that. So he basically can use his heroes uh, 
to help funnel his miners and uh, take out some more buildings, take out those CC troops. So gets great value for those six Falks, getting the, the queen, this you know half the CC troops, a few defenses, and the Inferno Tower, and then the baby dragons on the funnel, obviously. But anyway, uh, here, there go the heroes. They're going to take out some Teslas right there. I believe this was a cleanup attack. I'm not sure. Um, I think yeah, I think a Town Hall Nine was able to like scout it out first. Um, so that helped, but definitely still some great planning there. And then right here, there's kind of a double giant bomb set that does get a few miners, kind of gets them on the side there, but a glancing blow, not too, uh, doesn't take out too many miners. They're still making their way through, has all these heal spells for them. And one thing, the skelly traps are so, like, detrimental to those miners. Not really right here, but if they're, like, being uh, targeted by an inferno, uh, you want them to dip back underground as quickly as possible, but if the skellies come, it takes them a while to individually kill each one because they all seem to target one at a time. So it takes you know a good three or four seconds for each skelly to be killed. So it seems like those are a good thing to put by your inferno towers to defend against miners because uh, the miners will have to be above ground for a long longer period of time than usual with those skellies there, which will prevent the heal and they will. Uh, be able to be eliminated quicker so uh, that's just one thing i've noticed but uh, no problem here on this base crushes it still has the king up all those miners um, awesome attack to lenny he had actually uh, two three stars this war so awesome war to him and uh, we'll fast forward through the end here and then move on to one more town hall uh, 10 attack which is gonna come from i believe ragnar okay uh, coming in here with another mass miner. Why not? Thought I'd show it. We've seen so many bowler attacks that uh, we can, you know, look at some minor attacks too now. Uh, so drops in that golem. Just a few wizards for the funnel. Uh, giant, another wizard. Actually, the giant reminded me. I, I'm gonna give a few thoughts about uh, the giant and um, what was the other thing they added? Oh yeah, the new archer tower. I'll, I'll talk about that for like a 30 seconds to a minute, probably at the end of this video. Just because I mentioned that I would do that, so wanna wanna make sure I at least say something about it. Um, but anyway, on this attack, you can see everything's really clumped up in that middle. But the poisons definitely help slow down all those defensive troops and heroes, uh, which allows his level 40 heroes to just eat up the uh, defensive heroes and then take out the inferno tower. So great value for that kill squad. It has four heal spells for his uh, miners. But you can see right there, those miners took so much time, right? on those skellies. Not that it matters a whole lot for this attack because he uh, has a pretty uh, big leg up on this base already, but had it been a little bit of a closer attack, and you can see right there the miners go off the inferno tower to get those skellies. The skellies are so tricky for the miners, so um, use those wisely, I guess is what I'm saying. But on this attack, it pretty much doesn't matter. He actually dropped in quite a few miners with his kill squad. They kind of have petered out a little bit on the, on the top there. But they, I think they helped out the kill squad, and I've been seeing people do that, is kind of do a, you know two different locations uh, for where they deploy their miners. And I'm, I'm not sure if that's better yet or not. I, I haven't seen enough attacks, probably. I usually deploy all my miners on the same part of the base, but I can see the argument for either way. Uh, so anyway, though, nice attack to Ragnar. We'll go ahead and fast forward. Still has his heroes up. His king just went down, but has the queen's ability and a number of miners still left up. So... Fast forward, and there it is, 100% three star. Okay, these are the three Town Hall 9 attacks that I'm excited to show you guys because they really are some special stuff. Um, the first one from Shrek, and this one I think people call it a, um, like a Go Hobo or something, because uh, it's like three golems, and uh, yeah, still has, actually is that four, no, three golems, three of his own golems, and then that CC of bowlers and just a lot of stones on that base. Drops in those golems, lets them tank, then drops in the bowlers behind. Needs a lot of wizards to make sure the bowlers go into the base because that's a pretty big part of the DPS. Besides his heroes, that's the only other DPS troop he really has in there. So uh, needs them to go to the middle, and they do. Has the rage, uh, the poison for the CC troops, obviously. Everything moving through. And the bowlers, those level three bowlers under rage do a ton of damage. And uh, the second bounce from a group of bowlers can take out like an entire clan castle. Just a lot of damage right there. So it seems like, especially if you have high level heroes, this is a great strategy because you get the benefit of those level 30 heroes being back behind three golems as well as those bowlers. So that's a, 
a pretty hefty kill squad um, and with these hogs for the flanks takes out a base pretty quickly and you can see he has one heal spell to spare so crush this base awesome attack to Shrek just another way to get the three star at Town Hall 9 and uh, still it seems like you know every once in a while we struggle with Town Hall 9s despite the, all the different ways uh, I've seen people crush bases I'm not sure what it is but I think our Town Hall 9s are coming around to really being able to consistently three star the Town Hall 9s on the other uh, of the opponent clan and I guess we'll get that tested out in our future arranged wars and see how that goes um, but anyway this one was something else that I've been seeing it's not the first time I've seen this um, basically it's a zap quake on one of the air defenses then just a four lava hound uh, 25 26 balloon yeah 26 balloons so it's not the penta attack where people use five lava hounds and 20 balloons it's just dropping one lava hound because you have one less air defense that you zap quake and uh, in the CC all there is is two minions that's the only thing that can target air troops so this is good for a cleanup attack when you know it's mostly uh, like Valks or something like that in the CC that can't target your balloons or your hounds so and also with these ground expos there's really not a whole lot in this space that can even target air troops uh, those Teslas can but they're all being tanked by that one lava hound and those balloons are closing in very quickly and you can see still has the queen up like that was never accounted for but the idea is that if the queen compartments that offset you kind of finish with the queen then you drop down your heroes and let them finish off the base so basically the uh, air part of the attack is taking out you know 90 percent of the base you're just leaving that last little compartment to your heroes and you know it, it i guess you could uh, have a little trouble with this but if you do it right, typically uh, your heroes should be enough, especially if you save some balloons right there. Uh, so that one queen is doing quite a bit of damage, but has a few lava pups for cleanup uh, at the top of the base there. Then has his heroes, he'll pop his queen's ability, pop his king's ability, and uh, even those balloons are still up and they're going to do some damage right there. Take out the expo, and uh, his queen will take out the enemy queen, and from there, this base is toast. Um, probably got a little bit close here because it only has the king up. So it takes a while to three-star this base because there's only a few lava pups also, and they're going to get stuck on the defensive king for a while. So a little close on time probably, but got the job done. Definitely an interesting concept here at Town Hall 9. That kind of uh, strategy would almost a reverse, like the attack is backwards from what you usually see. So interesting stuff there. Um, last one, and it just gets cooler with this attack, uh, 22. This one had some P.E.K.K.A.s in it, and it's... Once again, not the first time I've seen this. Uh, Anthony actually has done this a few times, I think. And uh, he's bringing uh, three P.E.K.K.A.s, basically instead of the Giants. So it's another thing to drop your healers on. And it works out pretty well, actually. I've, I've seen it be successful a number of times. Comes in with these baby dragons, which are always great for creating funnels. I'm still, I, I don't know about the 10 troop space, but they do get quite a few buildings. And they actually can tank for some archer towers, which... Pretty much any other funneling troop can't do, uh, unless you use like a Valk or something. Uh, so act, they are pretty effective, I think, just because they also tank Archer Towers and sometimes get in there and get some defenses too. So that's another bonus. But comes in with these P.E.K.K.A.s. Uh, you can see it has a jump for them just to help direct them a little better. But they make their way through and they do a ton of damage. They'll take out that CC Golem pretty quickly. Has the Bowlers. Um, why not? You know, it is kind of an H. G, uh, B attack, I guess the healers are the H, there's no other, or no, H, I'm gonna die trying to figure this out, uh, now I got it, um, okay, there's no giant, so it's no G, so it's H, H, B, no, H, P, H, B, yeah, there you go, H, P, H, B is the attack, the, the P substitutes in for the G, so I've kind of wasted the entire attack trying to figure that out. But you guys are able to see it. Um, the hogs on the flank there has a heal for them. And uh, the packers are still up pretty much at full health. The healers kept them up uh, pretty nicely there. So everything works out great. And uh, the only thing is the giants will target the defenses while the packers won't. So the giants are more likely to get in, the, get in there, get the defenses, especially the air defenses taken out quicker, which helps keep the healers up. But the packers do have their benefits. They're... Uh, just as tanky and uh, they're not subject to being hit by a lot of splash damage or spring traps or stuff that the giants are susceptible to so kind of trade-offs there so uh, nice attack though to Anthony and we'll wrap this thing up I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this recap 
definitely a fun war for us. And uh, I did mention a ranged war, I think, in the last video. And actually kind of a funny thing that happened, we got matched up with not the clan we were hoping for. It wasn't, I think we were matching step one, kind of our feeder type clan to the Genesis Alpha family. Uh, not not those guys which we were hoping to match up with, but Clash United, which I think was just either doing some kind of potluck search or random search. They seem to be kind of a high level war clan, it's hard to tell at this point, but um, I think it should make for a good war and I should have some good coverage of it this weekend. So stay tuned for more on, uh, on that. So uh, anyway though, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye Sectatron out.